How are they resurrected? The Prophet ﷺ says, barefooted, naked, uncircumcised. Zaisha said, Radiallahu anha, Ya Rasulullah, we are naked, the men will be naked. One day look at each other. So the Rasul said, Ya Aisha, the situation is much bigger than for people to look at each other. And as they come out of their graves, there is darkness. And you see some people, light surrounds them. Towards their right and in front of them is lit bright. And Ibn Mas'ud says, your light will depend on the amount of deeds you have put forth. Some people will come with huge light. And some people's light will be enough just for themselves. And some people like a candle that turns on and off like a... Some people are resurrected. And they can't get up those that eat the money of river they won't be able to stand you will see another person and kids are poking him and pushing him he ate their money their wealth they were orphans and he wronged them and this is their situation in the day of judgment the sun comes a mile away from the heads of humankind and they start to sweat so some stand in puddles of sweat up to their ankles, some to their knees, some to their waist, some to their shoulders. Some people are drowned in it. Based on the wrong that you have done, humankind panic and the fear is immense and the heat is unbearable and the sweat is covering people. They say, oh people, you see our situation, you know our calamity, you know what has befallen us. Let's go find someone to intercede on our behalf. So they said, let's go to our father Adam. So they go to Adam alayhi salam and they say, Ya Adam, you are Allah's first creation. Please tell him to start the day of judgment. We can't take the weight anymore. And Adam says, no, Allah is so angry today. He's never been this angry before. I made a sin. I ate from the tree. And so they will all go to Nuh alayhi salam. Nuh, you are the longest prophets. Please tell Allah just to start the day of judgment. And Nuh will say, no, no, no. Allah is so angry today. And I asked him something I shouldn't have. And they will go to Musa and Ibrahim, Isa alayhi salam. And Isa will tell them, why are you going to us? Go to the one who can help you. Go to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa A mercy to mankind. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will say, ana laha, ana laha. I'll do it. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam goes up to the throne of Allah and makes sujood and praises Allah for things that no human has ever praised him for before. Until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya Muhammad, put your head up. Put your head up. Ask and I'll give you. He says, Ya Allah, what about my ummah? What are you going to do with them? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah says, don't worry Muhammad, I won't disappoint you today. And the Prophet says, Ya Allah, start the day of judgment. Sallallahu alayhi Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa So Allah Rabbul Izzah says, I will come and start the reckoning. The day where the angels start to pour down. So angels come down from the heavens, row after row, formation after formation, group after group, on this plain land. Such grand creation, so grand that humankind are mesmerized by them. 
So they say, are these our Lord? So the angels say, no, he will come in a manner befitting his majesty. At that moment, the hardest part, the hardest part of the hereafter, the coming of hellfire. It is a roaring, raging beast that is held down by 70,000 chains. Holding each chain is 70,000 angels. There is no scene more terrifying on the Day of Judgment than that scene. And when hellfire comes, brothers and sisters, every creation of Allah, they will fall to their knees. All they are saying is, Oh Allah, protect us. Oh Allah, protect us. And mankind move towards the land where they will stand before Allah Rabbul Izzah and will be made accountable for their deeds. Their books start to appear and their books are given to them and they will be lined up one line. There isn't a word being uttered. The first utterance in the Day of Judgment is from Allah Rabbul Izzah to our father Adam alayhi salam. And he says, Ya Adam, separate the portion of hell from your children. So he says, and what is the portion of hell? So Allah Rabbul Izzah says, from every thousand, nine hundred and ninety-nine for the fire. The scale will be put. The Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the first Ummah to get judged. What will happen is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will lead us to the throne. And all the creation of Allah, they're looking and they're saying, who are these people? And you're walking heads high, the judgment will start.